happening, tribe? Uh, just out and about riding your Grom. We're actually going up to this uh, super cool little place. I'll, I'll add some video at the end of this video uh, of the place. But uh, this video is about the last video. <laughs> Matrix. Um, so here's the problem. I effed up. Uh, the last video I made, that one I spent freaking three days editing. It was a really laborious edit. And like, I knew of course it wasn't gonna get a, get a crap ton of views. It's more so for the diehard tribe fam. But uh, it still feels good to get rewarded for, you know, that labor that you put into a video and where I effed up was I have a, an Epidemic sound account which was all the music in that video is from Epidemic and I'm actually shouting them out right now it was totally my bad not theirs um, the account was for my work account I don't know if you guys know but I make videos for another page called Aloha Stoke it's all like uh, tourist and visitor oriented videos. <laughs> so I use that account to download all the music that I use in that video. And then YouTube saw that and Epidemic tags the YouTube channel that you have associated with that account. And I had set up the Epidemic so uh, account so quickly that I didn't realize it was for a single channel. I thought it was like, um, like Audio Jungle or those other royalty free sites. So my bad, and I apologize for the silly little rant. It wasn't, it, it, YouTube actually properly flagged the account. So long story short, I'm taking that video down because I just don't want it on the page with the wrong music. And I know you can change music, but you can't actually change it to the same song type of thing. You have to use YouTube's library. And there's a lot of, um, scenes and stuff with dialogue and music and different music volumes and stuff so I'm like ah screw it so I got all the music reconnected to the right account my accidental broadcast account and the video is exporting right now and you might be saying right now Kalani what the hell are you giving me this information for I don't care I already watched it you just shut your pie hole well I thought it might be a lot to ask people to watch it again and I, I wouldn't watch a video I've already seen again unless the content creator hit four Easter eggs in it. If you choose to watch that video again, um, I'm gonna send four people, the first four people that send an email to the Easter egg. So basically what the Easter egg is, is throughout the video, there are a total of four single frames of the video you know the video is running at 24 frames per second so one of those single frames it basically happens for a 24th of a second it's from Fight Club remember when uh, Edward Norton's talking about Brad Pitt cutting in a single frame of some naked dude into like a children's movie it's basically that kind of vibe so I have four of those in there and each Easter egg is like text based um, so it says like, congratulations, you found Easter egg number one, then some kind of funny line of dialogue. And then there's a code name for that Easter egg. And then my email. So all you have to do is send me an email and say, hey, I found Easter egg number one, and the code name was ba ba ba, yada yada yada. Like one code name could be like bulbas, bufant, blubber, macadamia. But they're not that long, they're a lot shorter. So that video will be uh, uploaded and scheduled for Friday morning Maui time. I'm gonna do uh, 7 a.m. Maui time. Gosh, is this as fast as this? Is this as fast as your Grom can go? 38 miles per hour? Come on, we're trying to travel back into the future so we can change the songs on that video so they're not all jacked up and YouTube's like, oh, we've got another frickin'. Uh, Anyways, yeah, if you guys want to watch that video, I hope that you find the Easter eggs and what I'm going to uh, send the four people. It's just going to be something small for Maui, but I do have four of something that has high levels of sentimental value, and I'm going to put one of them in each one of the care packages, along with some other uh, stuff from, from the island of Maui. 
And if you guys have seen me send stuff out to people before, you know that it'll be it'll be cool. It'll be a cool little something to get just for finding a single frame in a video. So now you got to think about your strategy, right? So say you're watching it and you find the first Easter egg. Do you pause it right there? Send the email right at that moment with the code name in order to risk not getting second to somebody else? Or do you watch it all the way through, log all your Easter eggs, and send one bulk email? I don't know. It's up to you. It's all up to you. Friday, this Friday, 7 a.m. Schedule the video. Uh, I'll call it. I'll call it something else because I don't want YouTube to like see it and go, "Oh, you're uploading the same thing." I'll call it like a uh, uh, super vlog for the tribe or something along those lines. But I, I made a couple little changes to the video, but for the most part, it's the same 38 minute video. And there are four Easter eggs hidden. And I hope it's you that finds one of them. Oh my gosh, this road is just awful. Anyways, oh, hope you guys enjoyed this short little video explaining why I'm going to be uploading the other video that you've already seen. And my bad for not looking very closely at Epidemic Sounds terms of service and exactly how the account operates. I'm so silly. Okay, we're here. We're at the place. Uh, let's cut to some, or cue the music and let's check this place out. It's kind of cool. Getting stuff for the house. Alright, catch you on the flip side. <laughs>